Okay, yeah, so hi Abby, yeah, I'm Graham McVitie, I'm the Woodland Officer for Exmoor National Park Authority and here we are, at, this is Tar Steps Woods National Nature Reserve, uh, one of the properties that, that we, we own and manage. So what does the role of Woodland Conservation Officer entail, Graham? Okay, so my job with Exmoor National Park Authority is I'm the Woodland Conservation Manager. Um, we own and manage um, nearly 600 hectares of woodland in the National Park. But the other part of my job, importantly, is providing uh, advice and service to woodland owners throughout the National Park mm -hmm. to help them with sustainable woodland management, uh, woodland conservation and other tree-related issues mm -hmm. uh, as well. So it's quite a diverse role. Um, and Exmoor is pretty well... Um, we have nearly 13% of the National Park is woodland, so we have quite a high proportion of woodland in the National Park, so it's really an important um, characteristic of, mm -hmm. the, of the whole National Park, really. So what are the most challenging aspects of the drill? OK, so I think you know, some of the biggest challenges are around helping to um, prepare our woods for the future. It's a quite uncertain future in terms of uh, climate change and some of the plant health tree disease issues that, that were challenging. Um, some of the tree diseases, like um, the larch blight, for example, have already lost three or 400 hectares of woodland. Mm -hmm. uh, some of the weather impacts were here at Tar Steps. The big flood a couple of years ago caused massive problems. Um, so we're likely to see real challenges in terms of extreme dry or extreme wet. And trying to make our woods more robust and more resilient for the future, I think, is one of the big challenges mm -hmm. that, that we face. So how does your role help sustain Exmoor's woodlands? Um, OK, I mean, in terms of, of helping to sustain Exmoor's woodlands, I think the first step, really, is to understand what we've got. Um, and what we're trying to do is, is, is um, commission or undertake research and surveys, understand uh, the importance, the extent, the condition and, and, and other factors that are affecting the woodlands. And then try and provide advice to woodland owners to help them address some of those problems. Uh, we own and manage woodlands ourselves, so we're able to test and trial some of these issues in our own woods and then provide further advice to, to others mm -hmm. um, and help them get in touch with other sorts of advice as well. So why is your job important? OK, well, I think trees and woodlands are incredibly valued by people and society and they provide all kinds of, of services and all kinds of levels of enjoyment for people. Mm -hmm. And that's absolutely the case in the National Park. You know, we have 9,500 hectares of woodland, 13% of the land cover. It's one of the defining characteristics of the National Park. And I think helping to conserve that resource and help people to understand and enjoy that re resource is, is incredibly important. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think people, people value that. So what advice would you give to members of the public interested in conserving Exmoor's woodlands? Yeah, so I mean, people play a really important role here. I think uh, what I would urge people to do is to get involved, uh, to try and get connected if there are any voluntary positions they can take up or any community wood woodlands they can get involved with. But most of all, just try and understand what the issues are and try and get involved and, and, and reconnected with, with their local woodlands. Final question, Graham. What's your favourite plant species? OK, I think, well, because we're here at, at Tar Steps, which, you know, a deep woodland in a river valley, uh, very typical of a lot of Exmoor's woodlands, um, it's damp, it's moist, it's clean, so these mosses and ferns and lichens that grow on the trees, I think some of my favourite um, species, and those lungwort lichens are pretty impressive and really special characteristic of Exmoor's clean, moist woodlands.